Right, hey guys, welcome back to the Money Auctionman. And today is a big day because I'm going to actually start working on this thing. I'll apologise for the wind in advance. We've just had Storm, Franklin, Eunice and Deirdre or whatever they were called. And yeah, it's a bit windy, but I've got an hour to myself and I thought, why not give it a go? Let's see if we can get this thing, not running, it's not going to run straight away, but I've come up with a bit of a plan now what I want to do with it. I just want to make it look nice and just run on cycle power alone uh, as opposed to getting it running with the motor etc because it's just too expensive for me to do at the moment so I want to make it look pretty have a change of colour to it and uh, yeah not have it in Batman colours anymore but I've got a funky colour that I'm thinking of doing uh, let me know what you think down below what colour am I going to give this thing and uh, yeah basically just have a look see what's wrong with it I mean these are all aftermarket lights on I'm thinking if I can get the lights working and I can get it looking nice, it'd be a nice display piece and that's what I'm going for. So we're going to make a start on it today, strip a few bits down and see what, see what's what, see how bad it is and uh, yeah, take a look. But yeah, purchased in October 2020 and it's the first time out of the shed since then, apart from making the first video. So yeah, we'll crack on. I'll show you what I'm doing, what I'm up to. I've got my trusty toolbox down there, my lay down mat as well, so we'll have fun. Sure. So the first thing I really want to tackle is all this back end to be honest with you This is all aftermarket wiring which is really annoying The rear light absolutely smashed to pieces I have got a replacement there Not going to be fit it today though of course I'm just going to see what's wrong with it There's all this wiring at the back Which is incredibly annoying There's this here, that's the first thing to come off I'm just going to cut that off because I've no idea what that is And it comes through the boot lock as well Find out why this boot's screwed in take these off these are aftermarket I've no idea why they're on so yeah let's get into the trusty toolbox and uh, find out what we can do see what's up with it all come on yeah there we go get the lay down mat out sexy from Alphas them genuinely the nicest comfiest lay down mats anyone can ever buy so first job that off I can't believe they've gone rusty a bit annoying but yeah that I have no idea what it is in it. Uh, I'm not really interested in this wiring either to be honest but uh, that looks quite substantial wiring. Those bits I want to keep because they actually do sit there genuinely. Uh, but yeah let's get some screwdrivers, take these bloody screws out and uh, see what's wrong. Old uh, front wing drop plate brackets there for a Formula Renault 2 litre. Broken of course but yeah there you go. Got all sorts of shit in here. Let's get one of them one of them. So yeah, first time ever working on this thing. These are these look aftermarket, these ones, and I'm not sure why they're there. But let's take them out anyway, that looks like it'll come out by hand. Yes it will. And then this rear light's just connected here. I'm sure that just unplugs. I need two amps for this. And there we go, that is one rear knackered light off. Uh, it was a twist and a pull on this, so that's the original light, so I'll be keeping that. But this wiring, I have no idea what it's for, and in fact, it's not actually connected to anything, it's just all been cut off. And that all belongs to that, so this is all going to come out because this is just all just ridiculous. Where's my flush cuts? Cut them out. We'll take them off. Apologies, trying to do this one-handed and then filming as well is a little tough. Let's pull this out. I get this out. Come on. It's all bloody knotted there, isn't it? Cut it off from there. I wonder if my dad can weigh these in for copper. <laughs> Give that three pence worth. Right, there we go. So that pulls out. That pulls out. I want these. They need to stay on. Because these are for the mast, I don't know if you ever remember the uh, Sinclair for the ages, but they used to have a big mast and this used to be the locator. It used to be an optional extra, so they do actually sit there and they're genuine. So we'll keep hold of those. So this is the keep hold of pile. They're just me aftermarket bits already, but they're the bin pile. No point keeping them. Don't need that. Don't need that. What's under me thing? Oh yeah, my front wheel covers. I need them. So Put that off, that can go. So let's open the boot and find out why this is all uh, just screwed in as opposed to holding in place. That'd be a nice thing to do, wouldn't it? 
yeah 100 workmanship there quality like I say it's, it's not gonna be a, it's never ever gonna be a good uh, example of this it never will be without totally well I mean to be honest I don't think even if uh, oh, it's just starts to rain how fun but I, do, I don't think this will ever be a good example it needs a hell of a lot of work doing to it and you need to buy a new boot and things just so you don't have all these holes in and it need completely repainting and it's just not feasible for it to ever be that and uh, someone told me that there's about five or six hundred pounds worth of parts uh, just on this thing alone with such as that cover the felt cover there's quite a bit the handlebars are worth quite a bit so yeah you know I'd hate for this to be parted out um, I know it had quite a lot of sentimental value to the guy I bought it off and that's the reason why I, uh, I offered to step in and say look I don't want to part it out keep all of them screws for now you never know a bit rusty but well there's the boot so that does actually work it's got the hinges first time I've ever been in there but a bit cobwebby so yeah it, it works it's just not got a lock so that's the reason why that got screwed shut but that's a shame because that's obviously uh, and I'm not sure why them screws are there because they were holding nothing in place at all but there we go never mind we'll take these things off we don't need these This rain better stop because uh, first time I've got an hour to myself and it bloody rains doesn't it typical I'll uh, I'll not bore you with the process of filming all of this but you can see what I'm doing I'm taking that and that off so uh, I'll catch up with you when I'm doing something else exciting right so that's the back end already looking nice just getting rid of all that shit uh, the original bulb there as mentioned uh, definitely need a, a lock for this. I, I found a lock actually, an aftermarket one, really cheap for like £15, so I might just get that just so that can locate in place. And that actually works, which I'm really surprised about. Didn't think it would. So now it's just all the question of all this wiring down here. It, there's a lot of aftermarket wiring down there, and a lot of this comes from these lights on the side there. And I'd like to keep them, because obviously if you take them out, you're going to end up with holes in the chassis, and I just think it'd be so much faffing around. But we'll see um this actually is in really good condition uh, that's where the starter so it used to have a key keyed entry and it used to go on there and all this is intact the button works there for the power you've got the brakes so that's all interesting but it's just all this wiring here look at all this tape down here this all looks important for the pod but obviously the pod's still there in place so ideally i like to keep that but i don't think it's in the original place like putting over the chain the chain's off, I might take the chain off next actually, get it rolled in a bit freer and uh, flip it up and have a look underneath, I think it's the best bet next. So the next job I think is going to have to take this chain off and that is actually, oh, you know, it's rusted into place. Uh, yeah, that's uh, certainly seen better days that chain has, hasn't it? Let's see if we can take it off, it's uh, standing. These, I'm not sure if they're original or not. They look original, because the power box used to sit there. There's a power box missing. Um, but that looks all original, and the wiring looks like it's quite a good job, actually. Like this wiring here, and but there's just a lot of additional wires that I really have no clue about. So I'm going to probably have to turn off the recording while I get this chain off. Um, but yeah, that's the next job for it, I think. Right, there we go, a bit of brute force, uh, two hands required, I managed to snap the chain off, so let's see if we can get, get it out now. Probably uh, you need to disassemble all this before you take the chain off and put another one on no normally, but it's absolutely knackered and shagged, so I'm not too bothered. It can go in the bin pile over there, right. I mean, that'll at least make it roll a little bit better, I mean, the tyres are completely knackered. They're still the original Sinclair tyres, look. Sinclair, it says on those, so... Yeah, and as you can see, the chassis is not too bad. It is just surface rust. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. But yeah, it's just this wiring. This is this is what was scaring me about getting this thing running properly again. And I don't do electrics at all. So yeah, I mean, there's obviously something that should locate onto there. That's all snapped off. Look. Which isn't good for the motor, you know, the motor's original, that's snapped off, cut off. 
so it's like someone's bypassed something on it with it, so it runs without a uh, power box. But yeah, I mean, there's the original belt's still on it and everything. But yeah, I don't really know. I think it's just too a, a step too far for me personally to try and get this thing running. I think next time the plan is I'm I'm gonna have to start making an effort to strip this down. Um, because at the minute it's, I, I can't do anything while it's like this and with the wind and the inconsistent rain at the minute, which we'll probably hear again, um, I'm probably going to leave it for now, wait till the uh, better weather comes hopefully in March and uh, see what we can do in terms of stripping this thing down and uh, trying to make it look a bit nicer. I might actually, to be honest, I might strip it down and then get this paint off. I mean, the paint's already flaking up anyway, so I don't think it's going to take too much. He's just thinking, what can you put on it without it damaging the bodywork? Because, I mean, this is quite nice, you know, it's all solid, there's no breaks in it. So, it'd be a shame to ruin it that way, you know, try and put some paint stripper on it and then absolutely destroy it. But, yeah, I think the next port of call is going to be uh, to make a, an effort to start stripping it down. But this was just a first look at it that I have touched it and uh, yeah hopefully we'll get there but yeah definitely wait for the better weather so just got it back on its wheels again and further inspection is good because I've just found this wiring which I thought was aftermarket and it looks like it connects to the back of the pod I can feel the cables I, I can't get in there to show you but, it, but it's there and I think that's original and then when you lift the front up and have a look at the wiring down there if you can see that there that to me looks original because it all goes up and to the front and obviously the pod that all looks original and I think that just this bit's been tampered with I think this here is the aftermarket bits and if I can work out and definitely identify that that's original just not touch any of those wires and uh, instead cut those off I could be onto a winner here like I said the motor's still massively disconnected which is really annoying it's been cut off right at the edge so i'm gonna need some new connectors and things like that but maybe just maybe this might be a runner without too much effort but we'll we'll see we'll see on that um but yeah I, i'm encouraged i'm i'm glad i've looked into this a little bit more and actually tried to decipher what's what um obviously i'll be learning as i go but to me that looks original and looks in good nick so we'll see what happens but yeah thank you so so much for watching guys i'll pop it back on its wheels and do a sexy outro but yeah there you go that is the sinclair c5 part one of however many and however long it's going to be before i do another one but yeah thanks so much for watching guys i'll see you all next time and uh much love